a great achiever is called as a a towering personality why towering personality that person can see far ahead unlike others that person can see far ahead and channelize one's energy in the right direction not in every direction channelize the energy in the right direction it's a towering personality in the himalayas himalayas are uh, 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 magnanimous source of inspiration for others so big so tall uh, in the in terms of uh, length breadth and height nothing to compare in the, in the among the mountains himalayas it is a metaphor also if you are counting any mountains it is a himalaya name comes to you in himalaya it's so tall it sets the goal for the rivers to flow himalaya is so so tall it knows the rivers originating in this himalaya it knows where it has to go it sets the target and gives the direction for the rivers to flow it says look you have to go there it gives the target a teacher the same way sets the target for the students and gives the direction to flow it is um, uh, because it is so tall himalaya can see a teacher can see what is ahead of you where you have to go and in, uh, in uh, himalaya himalayan uh, 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 the mountain mountain ranges if the water is originating at the top rivers wants to go to the top and flow down if the rivers are originating only at the foothill of the mountain it cannot travel for far the rivers have gone to the top it with uh, velocity with vigor with um, intensity it flows down why we had to move up in our life we get uh, momentum in our life if you are only at the foot hill there is no stamina you get dried out if the water is originating in the spring in a desert a spring water it hardly travels few meters but the water originating in himalayas travel thousands of miles thousands of miles away it has the momentum because of that when it has gone up now i have the momentum i want to travel further in my life reach the destination i have to reach the destination and earth earth has uh, Uh, about 71% of the earth is um, uh, it's um, uh, covered with uh, land is covered with um, uh, water 71% Wa- uh, the rivers whatever direction river is flowing if the river has intensity and momentum it will reach the ocean we also what you do in life is not important if you have the intensity with good intention if you are doing you will reach the goal goal of your life god is pervading everywhere that what is needed good intention and intensity good intensity like water if it has intensity it will reach the ocean you also if you have the int- intensity you will and good intention you will reach the goal of your life what you do is not important how you do differentiates you how you do with intensity you can reach and um, uh, the water 97% of water found on earth is not uh, portable it is uh, brackish it is uh, not uh, portable only 3% are fresh water 3% is fresh water so is in the world majority are not of use for the community only a rare few 
or remain always remain fresh they gives the freshness to the community it is always the case no point in complaining uh, it's uh, like uh, uh, only 97 uh, 3% is fresh water majority of people are not fresh they are they have no stamina they can't give freshness to others only rare few can give freshness to the community freshness to the community in the um, uh, the brackish water brackish water uh, 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 dull water it is not of use if it wants to bring freshness to its life what it has to do it has to get disengaged from the company of brackish people brackish water it has to get, learn to disengage from there it has to learn to get vaporized and move away from the original source i am prepared to water vapor it comes out moves away water goes high a vapor goes high and can, uh, gathers together with the like minded vapors and in the uh, and um, in the form of uh, uh, the cloud and they need to condense and fall down it has to go through that process if you want to change yourself from becoming stale in your life to become get fresh refreshed and add freshness to others you must be willing to give up the company of people who are of no use in the name of friendship you are tying down to that one like water is getting evaporated get up and move up move up move up and move to that new destination no more here you have to go to the new place go place go up associate with like minded like minded people from there when you are associated with like minded then you will come down as a fresh na fresh water you will add freshness to your life and freshness to others life this uh, ocean is uh, talking about this uh, water water when it is uh, the the flowing water uh, um, uh, on the river bed it sustains uh, both um, uh, the dirty water polluted water as well as the fresh water uh, the river bed for it it doesn't matter something is full, it's supporting in our mind also it is a bed for good uh, fresh water or dirty water so it is up to you what is flowing through you what your river bed mind bed what are you allowing the neg- negativities to flow through i am uh, teaching in the aged care they the common problem as you age it's the bed mind bed is only the dirty water flows we think as we getting older we have lot of time to do contemplation majority they say only negativity as we getting older only the, um, the dirty water goes through in the uh, raw water when it is flowing you, you cannot use it as it is you had to put it through a uh, water treatment plant to convert raw water into potable water raw water by itself you cannot drink your mind also mind also so many information coming it's a raw information through your practice through your practice you had to filter it you had to filter it process it process it and convert the raw information into a portable information good information information by itself you can like media they can take a wrong end of the information and twist it and agitate the community or the same information can be synthesized to give value to the people value to the people like um, himalayan mountain stream the higher the water moves up and flows down momentum is greater 
if it is only half way momentum is less in our body also there are seven chakras muladhara swadhisthana manipura anahata vishuddha ajna and sahasrara chakra from uh, energy is dissipating from each chakras the intensity of the energy flowing according is according to from which chakra this energy is go- going the higher you move up in your chakra energy's intensity becomes stronger if it is only at the muladhara or swadhisthana there is no intensity there is no intensity come what may i will start after few days i lose interest like uh, ba- d- cold weather people prefer to log in from home i lost interest motivation i the intensity start moving up your intensity in your life increases the rivers are t- talking about why you have to origin from the top your intensity in your life increases do the sadhana associate with the teacher intensity you can travel further further in your life the water water in the river river bed river bed if it is only swallowing all the water flowing through if it is uh, taking everything for itself and get uh, sucked in there won't be any river the energy flowing through us the by god's grace we are successful in our life by god's grace we have health things are flowing through us like river bed swallowing everything for oneself if you are swallowing everything for your own enjoyment so community cannot sustain community cannot so the energy why water bed uh, is allowing the water to flow it wants the water to flow if it is sucking the water is made to flow the bed so that water can flow the god has enabled the energy to flow through you so that it reaches the people it reaches the community if the if you are successful i i earn i enjoy i revel so the water energy will get dried out and no more sorry it will say sorry it is a wrong conduit you are a wrong conduit that it won't st- it won't uh, flow through you and people they say i work so hard why i can't get anything because in the past you had an opportunity you only gobbled it for yourself for your ego 10 property 20 property your pro- portfolio never invested for others energy like water is flowing you should become a conduit for the divine energy to flow and istan bhogan hi o deva dasyante yajna bhavita terdarta na pradaye byo yo bhungte ste na eva asa one enjoys for oneself doesn't allow the energy to flow through shri krishna says that person is a thief that thief i am giving it's not his i am giving i am i want the flow, flow through that person that person is enjoying that person is a verily a thief when the thief means means all the amenities will be taken off all the, the comforts slowly one by one will be cut off if you want to these are the prosperity how to be prosperous even in the old age these are the sutras mentioned in the scriptures learn from the himalayas learn from the rivers you invest through the practice practice of yoga body mind and soul get tuned to the divine energy divine energy you are praying you are doing the sadhana not for your own welfare may the divine energy may i be a conduit for the divine energy to flow through a good energy i don't want if i don't allow the good energy to flow only the uh, dirty water will flow through only the negative energy will flow through i don't want the negative energy to flow through may i do the sadhana 
may I purify this river bed in such a way that may the divine energy, pure energy flow through and enrich the community. Enrich the community. These are the inspirations from Himalayas and uh, rivers. We'll see whether further comes out next week. Left thumb and... <laughs>